hey this is just a quick tutorial on how to make a fishing minigame in RPG Maker VX Ace. If we just have a look at this event we've got here, which I'll go through with you. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, it's just some visuals just to make it look nice. The main part of the event is waiting, just like you would in real life fishing, you've got to be patient. And it's just a simple variable, a random number again, like a dice roll. And if you get the number, you'll get the fish. And if not, then the fish got away. It's as simple as that. Um, there's different things you can do with this. You can add variables afterwards, so you can catch it only a certain amount of times. But I'm just going to show you how to do the simplest way possible for now. Okay, let's... If I delete this, we'll just start from scratch. Right, so what you're going to need is a choice first of all. So, would you like to go fishing? Just straight forward. And then you want to show choices. Yes or no. If yes happens, you want um, switch fishing. You need to have a fishing switch. So you need to make a fishing switch to go along with this event. Okay. And then we're going to have, like I say, wait. So, I don't know, 20 frames, just something simple. Which isn't very long at all. Maybe play a sound effect. Um, this is just when you've... So, we'll change the pitch. That's it. And we'll have it wait again. Just 40 this time. And play another sound effect. Most of this is just visuals and sound effects for now. Like I say, it's just it's mainly just a waiting game. This bit that we've done here is just the, the start of the event, just throwing out your rod and then making the water noise. And then now is when we're going to catch the fish or not. So, you want to control variables, you want fishing, and you want a random number. Well, you don't have to, you could have it catch every time. But what I'm going to do is have a random number. I'll have one to three. Okay. We're gonna wait again. Wait a bit longer this time. 240 frames. Um, show balloon icon on the player. Make sure it's the player, not event. And we'll have silence. Waiting for completion. Okay. Right. Now we're gonna need a conditional branch for the variable that we've just set. So conditional branch variable fishing is equal to and if I'm going to set it so if it's equal to 3 this is where we'll catch the fish the top one, else this is where we won't catch the fish ok we'll do where we won't catch the fish first so we want sound effect, you can have anything you like one that I think works well is, is absorb highest pitch Sounds like the fish gets away. You just want to get the text. The fish gets away. Simple as that. You don't have to have this, but this is just something just a little that you can add. Probably get out of the world. Okay. Just a gag when the fish gets away. And then you want a. You have to get the visuals. Where is it? Balloon icon, player. And you want. I think it's the cobweb. And you should have that wait until completion as well. And then control switches, fishing. You want to turn it off. So that's. 
turned off now so that won't happen again. Right, we'll do it now so if you catch the fish. So we want an exclamation mark on your character. Okay, and I need weight again. Make sure these are always on weight for completion. Um, just want to wait just a little bit. 10 frames. Play sound effect. Try roll to 2, I think it is. Is it that? Yeah, that's good. And um, text, you just want. Exclamation mark. Okay. And you want to. You can always do this before, but. Item fish. So if you can make a fish, it doesn't really matter. You could use anything. You could fish up a potion, you could fish up a herb. It doesn't really matter. But we've got a fish. Okay, that's good. And just for a little extra have a little song to himself to celebrate. That's it. Then you want to switch his off again. The short switch is off. And then self switch. Well, you could leave it at that then. So that's the basics. Elephant. Same level as character. Action button. The graphic is there, over, two. Perfect. You want... I think it's that direction of folks. And just test that. Yep, that's it. So if you can see, just like a little sparkly bit of water. Something's moving in there. Would you like to go fishing? Yes. Nope, fish got away that time. There we go, we've actually caught it. But then you can keep using it as much as you want. So you, you could have it just like that and leave that in your game. Or you could have after that the self switch. Which is what I'll do. Self switch a new events page, no graphic. Self switch A is on. Okay. As long as there's nothing there in the next page. So once the fish has been caught, it then disappears and it will be gone forever. But what you could do is, you could have it so there's different variables, so after you've caught four things, then it will go to the next page and then activate the self switch. You could have it so you have to have, which is how I have it, an item, you have to have the fishing rod exist before you could even fish. So these could be dotted around your game, and you could keep seeing them, but you might not be able to fish them up and you have to do something to get a fishing rod so that's a little extra that you can put into your game uh, but yeah I mean you can add different items you could if I just load my other game if we look what I've made on here you could do something like this you could have a plain fish you could have a golden fish which sells a tuna which is like a Plain fish doesn't sell for much, but it heals. What I've done in this game is, in every pool, there's a very, very rare chance that you fish up either a shark, turtle, octopus, or swordfish. So a shark increases your attack, turtle increases your health, the octopus increases your magic attack, and the swordfish increases your agility. But obviously only by one or two points, unless it's the health. So you could, you could mess around with it. You could have different fishing rods give better luck and just things like that. It's it's all about experimenting really and do whatever it is you, you like to do.
Okay, cheers for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If it was helpful, also leave a like. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching my video.